Watch you guys today we're taking a look at a free app to make Windows 11 better. Now Microsoft have announced that their start menu is playing up, it's having issues and it's not opening and this has been happening on Windows 11 and Windows 10. So what is your options? Well let me just show you what you can do. You can use a free piece of software to actually change this horrible looking Windows 11 menu. Now I don't know anyone who actually likes this menu system. You can't do much with it. It's really plain and horrible, and I just don't like it at all. Now, if you're like me and you want to change it for free, there is a way, and I'll show you how to do it in this video. It's using Start Menu X. Start Menu X is a way of changing your menu system to a much more familiar and much more better looking menu system. It is free, and you can use it without having any sort of nag boxes or any adverts popping up to entice you to buy the professional version. Although the professional version does give you a couple of little extras, the free version does a pretty good job. So I'm going to download this and get this installed on the system and I'll show you what it looks like. So there is a couple of little extras here. Let me just show you the price for the pro version in case you're interested. It's £8.50. But free version does a pretty good job. So I'm going to be installing and using the free version for this just to show you what it's like with the free version. I'm going to hit the download button and let this download and I'll get this installed on the system. But first, before we continue, let's have a word from today's video sponsor, CD Key Sales. If you're looking for a cheap Windows 10 or Windows 11 Pro OEM key, then check out the links in the video description. Create an account and then click on the buy now. Use my promo code capital B capital R 09. Apply this to your order and you'll get a 30% discount on your purchase. Just submit your order and they will send you the key and then activate it in the activation center on your version of Windows. Okay, back to the tutorial. I've downloaded the file. I'm just going to upload this to VirusTotal because I get some people uh, panicking about these programs. You can see it comes back with a clean bill of health, no problems at all. And we're going to get this installed on the system. So let's go ahead and click on the executable file and we'll get it installed. It's a pretty straightforward process. Just click the install button. You should see a little box popping up here. Accept their terms and conditions. You can read through these if you wish. It's pretty straightforward stuff. And I'm just going to go next. And uh, again, I can do the 30 day pro trial if I want to. But I want to install the free version because I want to show you what the free version is rather than the pro version because this is what this video is about. So let's go ahead and get this installed. Now, there's no ads, no prompts. And you're not, uh, you know, prompted to buy the paid version, uh, which is nice because obviously some of these free options do bombard you a little bit. And this company doesn't do that. So let me go ahead and check the free version here and we'll go ahead and get it installed. Now, also I want to point out that if you do want to uninstall it, you can do and your menu will go back to the default Windows menu. It can either combine the applications and programs in a single main menu, which is recommended or separate applications which is not recommended, but I'm going to leave it as the recommendation and then click install. This will then start to install uh, the software onto the PC. Now we're using Windows 11 here, so I'm going to launch it and it should look something looking like this. Pretty simple, very easy to understand. Now you can customize it a little bit, of course, and I'll show you how to do that in a second. So let's go ahead and go into here. You can see we've got the search bar here. We've got a power on and power off the computer. We've got some options. You got all your menu, desktop, control panel, all your usual stuff on here. This is completely customizable. You can add in more icons here if you want to add in, say, the run box and other things as well. You can do. And I'm just going to quickly show you here through the list. Let me go over to the options area here and I'll show you the options so you can see what the options panel looks like. So click on the options panel and then click options again. Then click on the options again. And this will open up the options panel. Let me just drag this over so you can see it. And this is it. You've just basically can tweak it to your heart's content. There's a few options here that you can mess around with. Personalization. Again, you can change the skin of the actual uh, menu system. So whatever menu you want to select yours as, you can do. There's plenty of them to choose from here. I'm just going to probably choose the Windows 10 uh, version here. So let's go up and do the Windows 10. There's some other options available. You can change the scale as well. If you want to make it a little bit higher, you can do. You can change the fixed width as well. 
and you can also override the menu system color if you wish and change the color of it. You can also change the start button, which is another added feature you can add. So if you want to do that, you can do. And you can add in some more controls if you want to. So for instance, if you want to add a shutdown, a restart, a log off, a switched user on sleep and hibernation and timer, you can do by just check marking these boxes. And once you've done this, you can go down to the shortcuts and this will tell you the shortcuts for your particular device. You can change these to whatever you like. And then you've got the styling of the menu, which will allow you to change the style and look of it. Now, this is not bad for a free program. So you can go in here and just change this up to something that you like. I'm going to leave mine as the start menu X, but I will show you another one here so you can see this one here that looks pretty nice. And if you look down on the bottom near the get pro version, there is some buttons here that we've added in. And that is it. We've added these into, uh, you know, lock off the PC, shut down and a bunch of other stuff. You can get the pro version by clicking here. And that is it. It's a simple menu. It looks really nice super easy to use and uh, again let me just change the menu one more time here and you've got another menu system here if you want to use this one you can do there's a bunch of other ones in there and i'm pretty sure they'll probably add more as the time goes on so let me go ahead and quickly go into the options again and we'll take a final look at some of the other ones here there's some advanced options here so i'm going to leave this on the start menu x i think and uh, go to the advanced options. Now the advanced options here allow you to add in a bunch of other settings here. I'm not gonna go through all of these, they're self-explanatory, and you can export export your settings to a folder, import your settings uh, as well, and you can restart the program from here. Check for updates, and uh, there is support and helpline online there as well. So that's pretty much it for the actual menu system. And uh, I just wanted to quickly show you this one because quite a lot of people uh, want to change the menu. There's also other options, which are paid options, which I'll go through quickly in a second. But before we do that, let me just quickly go back to the main menu here, because if you want to add in some other options to your menu, you can do, and you can do this up the top here. So for instance, if you have a link to a website that you go to quite a lot, or maybe you've got a folder, that you want to add in with a certain content that you access quite a lot you can add other default programs here or you can add in other bits and pieces from here as well as you can see here and you can just add those in on here and it will obviously add them into your menu system so depending on what you want to add there you can just go to here and add them in pretty straightforward stuff and you've got your search box down here as well so nothing has been lost and you can extend the width of it as well if you want to you can fix it or extend the width and if you want to go up you can do as well by adding more categories and it will go higher so this is set to 20 at the moment which i think is okay but if you want to make it a bit shorter you can do you do lose a couple of little icons if you go too short uh, down the bottom but all in all you do have this little scroll bar to allow you to rotate across so very simple stuff and uh, it does look pretty tidy and you can have it blending into your other theme in your computer as well if you wanted to do that so like i said it's completely free and that is the start menu x now the other paid options we was talking about is start 11. it's a little bit more polished and a little bit more refined but you will have to pay for it and there is a trial version but after that trial period you will have to pay and uh, there is no free option available for start 11. also there is start all back as well which is another uh, menu system that you can use which is pretty good again not free there is a trial period but you will be forced to pay at the end of it whereas start menu x is completely 100 percent free you also have open shell which is the open shell menu which is being updated which is the old school classic shell which was uh c support for it but now someone has made it open source and they are keeping it updated here so you can use that as well which is free i think uh, I've not used that in quite a while, but you can use it. If you want to see a video on it, let me know in the comments section. I'll be happy to make that video for you. So if you are having issues with your start menu not opening properly or things like that, then you can use this method to bypass it and it should work perfectly fine. Again, problems with the start menu, always an issue with Windows. I'm not sure what happens is sometimes they break and they just don't open, which is pretty common for a Windows start menu because Microsoft don't leave it alone and they keep trying to fix things and end up breaking it. They fix one thing and break 10 things 
This is what Microsoft do. And that's why Windows 10 is working so well now because they seem to have left it alone because they're putting all their concentration into Windows 11. And that's why Windows 10 works flawlessly without being broken all the time. So that is going to be about it for this video. Uh, my name has been Brian from brightechcomputers.co.uk. Just want to say a quick shout out to all my YouTube members who join my YouTube members group. I appreciate the support. Special shout out to DNA Gecko, James Cobb, Waleed, Rock and Roll Rebel, Welsh Tony One, David Lees, Edward Kelly, Albert Houston, Celtic Lad, Big Daddy, Gary Belts, Mike Bigness, Jedi Buddhist, and Geo Sam. I shall catch you in the next one. Bye for now.